Being in the moment, the present moment, is one of the most powerful, powerful things you can do. In fact, your long-term, consistent, true happiness depends on it. People spend years meditating in order to get to this place of being able to be present. And not only that, but all of your relationships, the ones you truly care about, the intimacy and depth of connection comes from you being present in the moment. I'm going to give you a very quick, simple, short, but incredibly powerful exercise that will bring you instantly into the present moment anytime you desire. I also want to give you an awareness that your power as a person resides on being present in the moment. This is Zen in a Moment. It's a podcast where you can train your brain to stop stressing forever and be the cool, awesome, fabulous woman you know you can be. I provide tips and strategies that will move you from being stressed out to in the flow. Flow meaning feeling light, open, and wise. I'm your host, Zen Cryer DeBrook, stress as guidance expert. All right, so what does it mean when you're not in the present moment? You know, for most people that I know, including myself, we have a routine, a mental routine that starts from the moment our eyes pop open and goes throughout the day. It may be the list of things that you need to get done, the complaints that you may have about your life, the overwhelm that you may feel at, at things not getting done. It could be the relationships that you have and the response your mind has to them pre, during, and post conversation. Uh, our, our, our inner talk about ourselves is, goes on throughout our day. And the key is, is that whenever you're caught up in your thinking, you're not actually in the present moment. When you're running a list of things to do and, and trying to figure out what to do next, and you're looking at ways in which you need to be pre-planning communication that's going on in the world around you with the people that you know, you're not actually physically present. I mean, physically present in a three-dimensional world. Presence happens through our senses. So I'm going to share with you today the gateway to being present. Once again, it's through your senses. But why is this so important? You see, our mind keeps us away from our true happiness. Your physical body in this moment, in, in most moments, is in a perfect state of alignment and bliss until your mind gets in the way. I have many, many parents who come to me and they say, I really wish I had more quality time with my children. More quality time with their children most often means to them more time. What that looks like, for example, is two hours at the playground, or an hour and a half at the pool, or spending 20 minutes in the evening reading a book. The thing that I've found is, is that it's less important the duration of time that we spend with our children. When I coach them on practices where they just drop in and they are present with them in the moment, whether they be one year old or 19 years old or 35 years old, it doesn't matter. What our children need most from us is for us to give them their, our undivided attention. And whether that's for two minutes or 10 minutes or two hours, doesn't matter to them. I've watched parents sit on the side of the pool deck while their kids swam and played. And you look around, I want to film this someday. And all of them are on their phone, not even paying attention or watching their children in any way, shape or form. That's not quality time with your kids. That's not being present. Now, I want to share with you this perfect, beautiful little exercise. So it's called the listening practice. It's a foundation for everything I teach, including accessing your internal guidance system. Your internal guidance system, if you don't know what that is, please go to zeninamoment.com. That's zeninamoment.com. And there's a video there where I walk you through feeling this extraordinary thing you were born with. I call it the internal guidance system. And you can find out more about it there. The listening practice is the set point where you start to access your internal guidance system. But there's way more to it than that. The listening practice also helps you drop in in the moment. If you're a professional woman and you have business meetings and phone calls and different things that are coming at you throughout your day, you can take literally five seconds and do this practice. I, have t I teach people so that they, can, they, they, they work the muscle of it, but then they can also drop in in an instant. They become very calm and centered and then instantly have access to deeper levels of intuition, wisdom, and guidance, as well as become a vibrational match for the centeredness that they want the world to come to them in the same way the centered world comes to them because they're centered on the inside. So how you do this listening practice is, is you feel your feet. You don't have to be sitting. I recommend in the beginning, like I said, it's a muscle. So you can sit down for a minute and just do it for two to five minutes. 
two to three times a day. You can do it sitting in your car. You don't have to close your eyes. But at the beginning, you close your eyes, sitting, feel the bottom of your feet, and notice any energy that's there. Notice if you suddenly feel a little bit of heat or tingling, kind of a vibration, as your feet kind of come alive as you put your attention there. Next, bring your awareness to the palms of your hands. And I recommend that you just let yourself rest in the feeling of the palms of your hands and notice once again, you'll suddenly have like a little feeling, an alive feeling or a heat. Subtle. Some people have it very strong. And then pay attention to both their feet and your hands. Once again, there'll be energy there. And listen to the world around you. I record these at my home. Right now I've got a squirrel chirping outside you may be able to hear and blue jay and there's a plane going by a little bit farther away. By paying attention to your feet and your hands and your listening, you're paying attention to two different senses. Whenever you pay attention to two different senses, whether it be sight and taste or smell and sight or smell and taste, or the sensation of sitting in your seat, or what it feels like to have your feet hitting the ground as you're walking at the same time you're feeling the sun on your skin. When you focus your mind on two senses at once, the mind quiets. Generally what happens when the mind quiets is a sense of peace, centeredness, empowerment begins to come forward from your body, from your divine center. It's always there. The cacophony of the mind is what has us not recognize this centered, peaceful, divine essence that is the true being that we are. Being in the present moment and having this divine center come forward when you're interacting with your children, it, it, it shines a light on them. Try this. Practice it a couple times a day. Stop in your office. If you're at a traffic light, Feel your feet, your hands, and listen around you. While you're eating food, smell and taste. Feel this center. And then when you're present with your children and the people that you love, drop in while you're being with them. Notice what happens. I know for me, the people in my life, their eyes begin to twinkle a little more. They, they brighten up. They may turn their body and, and face me to where we're, we're aligned, centered. There's an affection that comes to, starts to come in. Also, I notice that in that place, there's this peaceful, powerful beingness that I have where things bubble up, compliments, appreciation, joy, deep sense of connection and love and intimacy that I personally need to nourish my soul down to my bones. And what I have found in teaching people this practice, and believe me, once you start, you'll love it. It's so amazing. In teaching people this extraordinary practice, they say that they realize that presence and happiness and joy and peace is ex accessible immediately. Even when they're in a suffering turmoil place, they can drop in for two to three minutes, get relief, get a break, and have this extraordinary experience that right now, right here and now, in this present moment, is all they need. So I encourage you to do it. I'm going to be reminding you on other podcasts to drop into your listening. It's a powerful place for you to go. It's a muscle. You'll get easier and easier with it as you use it. Do it two or three times. I like, like to have people do it while they're washing dishes or in the shower or having a phone conversation or eating some ice cream, having that first taste of coffee in the morning or tea. You know, really dive into your senses and be present. Thank you so much for listening to this podcast. You can go to zeninamoment.com. I have all kinds of resources there. I also have courses that you're able to take to go deeper and get coaching from me. If you want to really transform and become amazing, have an amazing life and become an amazing centered leader, then please join me in some of our courses that you can find at zeninamoment.com. Until I have an opportunity to speak to you again, I'm sending you love and blessings.